I'm Mike Bradovsky, and this is my very special cat, Little Bub. As a kitten, Bub was very mobile. She was very playful. She ran and she jumped. And over time, over the first year of her life, I noticed gradually that that was becoming increasingly hard for her to do. She wasn't getting around like she used to. She was almost unable to get around on her own. I took her to my vet, and it was determined that she had an extraordinarily rare bone condition called osteopetrosis, and she was completely immobile. The specialist actually only gave her a few months. When we discovered that Bub had osteopetrosis, she was already pretty well known, and her fans knew that she wasn't doing so well. And so one fan had sent me a message who said that their neighbor had an older dog with arthritis and was using this device called the Assisi Loop, and that it helped quite a bit. I talked to my vet, and he had one prescribed. The improvements were noticeable and immediate. Within a week, she was standing upright, Two to three weeks, she started walking normally. Five to six months, she started climbing stairs, and now she even runs, which uh, we definitely didn't expect to ever happen. I'm totally certain that this is thanks to the Assisi Loop. She's been using it for almost five years. I still give her treatments twice a day, once in the morning, once in the evening, and the treatment lasts 15 minutes. With Bub, it was pretty clear to me when she was in pain, but traditionally, cats are very good at hiding their pain, and this stems from when they were in the wild, Showing signs of pain was showing a sign of weakness and made them vulnerable. This has been passed along to our domestic cats and that's why it's so hard to tell when your cat is in pain. But there are some important things to look out for. A loss of appetite or a change in eating habits. Also, if they're having trouble getting to the litter box or going to the bathroom. Any trouble grooming or excessive grooming if your cat is hiding. And of course, if you notice that your cat has a hard time jumping on or off things that they would typically jump on and off of. If your cat is experiencing one or more of these symptoms, then you should definitely take your cat to your vet and make sure that everything's okay. If you're interested in learning more about the CC Loop, visit www.acceanimalhealth.com.